Bottom is there, very, very comfortable. For sure. And it's, I have a hard time putting jeans to Once we get someone for Alberta pants, they become fan for life. Yeah, I think I'm a fan for life. And I think Alberto is a best line. We have three collections here, mm -hmm. actually four. Alberto Pants, Hauk Shirts, mm -hmm. they're both German companies, and Codice Knitwear from Italy. Where in Germany? Uh, German, well, Alberto's from Mönchengladbach, mm -hmm. which is near Dusseldorf. I lived in Dusseldorf for three months, that's what I was going to say. They really? say it's like Me the, too. they say it's like the <clears throat> wow. pseudo fashion capital of the world. What's I played what? football there when I was younger, really? yeah, for NFL. They had a, a league in Europe. Mm -hmm. Uh, in 2007 was the last year when I, I played in Dusseldorf for like three months. Wow. Yeah, people were telling me that fashion's huge. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It's more of like an old German city than mm -hmm. if you went to Berlin or something like that. Now it's Americanized, so it was cool. Yeah. Well, much blah, blah, where Alberto's base is about 30 minutes away from Dusseldorf. Okay, yeah, I was, I was right around and there. And how is in uh, northeastern Germany mm -hmm. called uh, a town called Lipstadt. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, small town. I like the beer there. Yeah. So when you graduated, you went. Did you just you went over to seas for a while? Went to Germany? I graduated. Uh, Where'd you go to college? I went to Lafayette College. Okay. Yeah, small. In city. Pennsylvania, right? Oh yeah, I went with Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Pennsylvania. Yeah, I went there, and um, uh, I was able to get a chance with the Jets actually, mm -hmm. and I got injured my first year. So they said, you know, they saw some potential, so they sent me to Germany. It's kind of like uh, the minor leagues, I guess. Yeah. Like you say they had for football, so I went over there for three months and then played. Did pretty well, and then came back over here, and that's when I really started my career. So, pretty cool. I mean, actually, pretty amazing. I mean, Division Lafayette's Division Three, Division Two, One Double A, One Double A. Yeah. But it's not an amazing story to go from. Man, how many people from Lafayette are in the NFL today? I'm the only one, I think. Ever. That's. Ever really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Yo, dude, you represent very well. I'm trying to. I'm trying <laughs> that's, to that's a great story. Yeah, they don't. I want them to send me some uh, sweatshirts and stuff. They don't send me any gear. Oh, dude, they need to. Yeah, right. You got to get on top of them. Yeah, I'll send them this video. What do you? Got it. What, got what's it. your email address? <laughs> yeah, send me some gear, Lafayette. Yeah, yeah. So, did you know you're gonna make it this far? Just curious. Did you? We had a passion a lot. I mean. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm just like a big feeling guy. I just didn't feel like the feeling of playing football was over. Like I didn't have it. You know, I didn't feel it. So. I just continue to play and kind of just go with it. <laughs> but it's my passion, it's my love, so I figure, figure out when you have that, you find a way to make it work in life. Yeah, yeah. So, That's beautiful. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I like it. I like all the fans. This is the vintage twill. Yeah. So there's a, was it like styling him, Megan? He's easy. <laughs> yeah. He just wants to be comfortable. That's it. <laughs> comfortable. Is it easy or can you just go in the gap and pick up off the rack? I mean, how's hard? I mean, where, do you, where do you shop? Dude, I don't even shop. Whatever's free t-shirts I get from, you know, football, <laughs> yeah. free sweatshirts, yeah. Because for work, I, you know, I can go in and sweat. So who's the most stylish guy on the, on the Bears? Oh, man, that's a tough question. No, Martellus Bennett. He used to play for the Giants. Yeah. I mean, this guy was wearing Michael Jackson leather gloves one game. Because like, uh, what, what guys do is when we go on away trips, that's when they really, they try to, like, outdo each other with bags and... You know, all kinds of stuff, so. But Martellus Bennett, he's, uh, he's up there. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I got my Jansport and some jeans. <laughs> what's the scene in Chicago? The scene in Chicago? Yeah, what's, the, what's, what's life like in Chicago for a baller? I mean, for literally a baller. <laughs> I'm literally not a baller. Like I said, uh, if it wasn't for my cousin Steve that came here, I probably wouldn't even went out in Chicago that much. Yeah. But uh, the scene is similar here. I would say this about Chicago. It's a cleaner... <laughs> uh, version of New York City, and the people are way nicer. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> much, I'm not, hey, that's all true. I'm an East Coast man, I got that attitude, East Coast attitude, but I mean, if you're you know, in line for a beer or something, people are like, Chicago, oh, go ahead, yeah. you know, can I buy you one? Like, it's, it's that yeah. different. Yeah. You know? Chicago is like Chicago. New Yorkers always bitch about New York. No doubt. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's a it's a smaller version, but it's a lot more civilized. For sure, it's spread out. I mean, I, I I love Chicago. I played in San Francisco, Buffalo, Cleveland, and that's by far been my my favorite city. Mm. Uh, Have you ever gone to Second City? Okay. Second City. The, like um, yeah. the comedy. He just went. Well, went to to see comedy. He said it was oh, awesome. Hilarious. So good. Yeah, I should have went. So I thought it was going to be corny. It was it was a lot of fun. No, my mom was like, just go. It's going to be funny. I'm like, I don't really like to go to comedy clubs. It was like the best thing yes. ever. Every time I go, I'm like, I have to go to comedy. <laughs> yeah, I was like crying. Yeah, it was 
Sarah. Well, it's all the guys. <laughs> <laughs> They all end up on SNL, though. Like, yeah, they're like, good. Like, um, they're really good. Hey, what is it like, man, to bounce from team to team? I mean, trying to adjust to a new environment? Um, is there a hazing process for each new person who comes in? Or? Uh, yeah, luckily, I've been. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, I've been, you know, old enough, older when I went to some different teams. But, uh, you know, it's cool. I've always had, like, a, a, I found a new family each team I went to, a new group of friends. And, um, you know, it's pretty cool. Like, I, I haven't spent Christmas with my family in eight years. Mm. So it's cool. I got to spend it with, like, so many different families along the way each team I was on. So that was kind of cool to see how different people did the traditions. They took me in. So, like, what a lot of us say is playing football, you don't really remember the games. You remember all your teammates and stuff. So. That's the thing I enjoy most about playing in different spots, just meeting different people, you know. And like a lot of my boys that came to games, they've met all my my boys too. So even they're friends with some of them. Yeah. So it's kind of cool, make connections that way. Like my my agent, even David, like he could text Dave, be like, "Hey Dave, man, can I, can you get tickets to this?" And like he'll text them, just like you know, it's one of his clients. So. Yeah. Is there a difference in terms of social life between the ball, between football players and basketball players? Shoot, I've never met any basketball players. Yeah, you, so. guys, you guys don't socialize with the, um, what do you call it? Uh, I think some of the hockey players, Blackhawks. Yeah, shit. yeah. They used to hang sometimes, but uh, that's about it. Hmm. Like I said, man, I, go, I like working on cars and like chilling. I don't like going out and stuff. What's your favorite? Favorite car, favorite engine? Oh, man, I got a couple cars. I got a 70 Chevelle. I got a big block 454 in there. I just built a hot rod with a 392. Pound. You built it? Yeah, yeah, you built it. Yeah, me and this guy, uh, Pete. Back in Chicago, he, he was introduced to me, and uh, he's like phenomenal. Massive, dude. Yeah. Man with hands. Yeah. This is uh, a <laughs> next size up. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't even know how to put these on because I don't wear them. <laughs> <laughs>